Hey everybody, my name is Todd Reed and I've been selling projectors here at Projector People for over 12 years now. And we're just going to take a basic look at aspect ratio and resolution. Now the two go hand in hand, so we'll kind of discuss them together as we go along. But we just want to make sure you have a good understanding of exactly what you're seeing on the spec sheet. The numbers, everything, what they mean. So first off, the definition. Resolution is the number of pixels that the projector can project out. There's going to be a width number and a height number. Basically like the square footage of a room. It's just letting you know exactly how many pixels are up on the screen. Aspect ratio is the shape that the resolution takes, whether it be a square or rectangle. So you've got aspect ratio, which is the shape that the picture takes, and resolution, which is the number of pixels inside that shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to put up three resolutions on the wall, and we're going to kind of go through them and talk about the advantages and uh, the best applications for those resolutions. All right, so let's get started. Okay, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at three main resolutions. We're going to look at XGA, WXGA, and high definition. Okay, those are the three main ones that you're going to come across when you're shopping for the projector. Now, the first one is XGA, and as you can notice, it's almost a square. It has an aspect ratio of four to three. Just think about a square as four to four. This is a four to three aspect ratio. This is the oldest resolution that we'll talk about and the lowest resolution, but still has a good place in the market. Uh, the resolution is 1024 by 768 pixels. Now, this resolution is still great for business applications, church applications, uh, PowerPoint, media shout, anything like that. This guy still does a great job. Now, the reason it's still real popular is that it's low cost. You, know, you can get these guys under about $400 now, so real, uh, real good as far as your budget goes. Also, you can get these guys down under about three pounds. So for business people, very portable, uh, very good as far as the business application goes. So even though the oldest resolution and the lowest, still real popular in the marketplace and you can get a lot for your money out of the XGA. Now, next is kind of a new kid on the block. It's WXGA. The resolution on WXGA is 1280 by 800. So it has more pixels than the XGA does. You can get a little more information on the screen. Uh, great for spreadsheets and things like that where you've got a lot of information. You'll get a couple more rows on the image when you, uh, when you have a spreadsheet. Now the aspect ratio is 16 to 10, so a little more of a rectangle. So you're kind of future-proofing yourself a little more with the WXGA. I recommend you go this way if you can. But the catch is budget. It is a couple more bucks than the XGA. So you just want to make sure it fits into the budget, but if you can, this guy will kind of future-proof you with the newer computers and, uh, and some of the newer devices that have HDMI. Okay? And then, of course, last but not least, everybody loves HD. We all want HD. Um, you've got 1920 by 1080 pixels, and it's a 16.9, so it's a little narrow uh, rectangle, really getting into the high def. Now, of course, you want this for home theater. If you're home theater, this resolution is a no-brainer. Great for conference rooms. Um, great for photography, great for AutoCAD type programs where you really need a lot more detail, a lot, a lot of clarity in the picture. This guy's the way to go. Now the downside to high def is size. Right now we can't get much lower than about eight pounds as far as the weight goes. So you got to wrestle with weight, you're not going to be running on an airplane with them if you're a, a traveling salesman. But as far as the, uh, the price goes, you're going to be starting in the entry level around thousand dollars. So budget may come into play as well. So you just got to decide, but if you can, high def is definitely the way to go to get the most information and the clearest picture uh, possible, okay? Now, all of these guys will uh, mate up to your laptop, but the key is you want to try and get the resolution of the projector the closest to the native resolution of your computer. That way the picture will look the best, you'll have the clearest, best image. Okay guys, what we're going to do is we're going to show you real quick what a 16.9 signal looks like coming through a regular 4.3 projector, just so you understand that it can handle different aspect ratios and resolutions. So what we're gonna do here is, as you can see, you've got your 4.3 aspect ratio up there right now. We're gonna send a 16.9 movie. If you wanna cut the lights, we can go ahead and do that. Now what we're gonna do real quick, we're gonna go down and we're gonna get the movie in there. Now remember, you've got your 4.3 your right now. Now when the movie pops in, take just a second, boom. Now you've got your 16.9 inside the 4.3. This little 4.3 projector can handle it, okay? We just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like with the different aspect ratios and resolutions. Now, we're just going to walk down here real quick, and we're going to look at high definition. High definition, you got your 16.9 aspect ratio, right? Okay, we're just going to pop it into 4.3 real quick, and what you'll see 
boom, your semi-square inside the rectangle. So you've got your 4, 3, and your 16, 9. So again, um, if you have any questions on anything like that as far as the aspect ratios correlating with the projectors, the best thing for you to do is give us a call at Projector People. We'll be happy to help you out. We're here to answer any questions you have, okay? So give us a call.